I'm Chris Cranston, and welcome to the show we like to call Around the Campus. Where we give you an inside look about what's going on around Monta Vista. Right now, students are hard at work creating Monta Vista's yearbook. Let's take an exclusive inside look on just how that yearbook is being made. Hello everyone, my name is Gray Hansen, and I'm here with Michaela Schiller, the co-editor-in-chief for the Monta Vista yearbook. How are you doing, Michaela? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. So, tell us a little bit about yearbook. Yearbook is a place where obviously we design the yearbook. It's in the R3 room. It's from 20 to 30 students. We design the yearbook from front to finish. We do everything from taking the photos, writing up all of the articles in the yearbook, designing layouts, and especially one of our main things that we do is writing. So shout out to Bailey Hammond. She's an incredible writer. Nothing would be possible without our teacher, Mrs. Govnick, who makes everything in the world better. So why are you in your book? I'm in yearbook because I think it's a good way to recognize people that aren't usually recognized throughout the whole entire school year. And it's just a way of capturing the memories that people experience in high school. And is there any other you know, information that you want to you know, tell the students? Basically, we really want to recognize every single person. Like, as, like, we would love to do that. So if you guys could please send your photos that you have from homecoming, from Halloween, hanging out with your friends, maybe your job outside of school, to montavistayearbook at gmail.com or post them on the Monta Vista Facebook page, which is up and running. So thank you for joining us, Michaela. Thank you for having me, Gray. And let's send it on over back to Chris and Sumner. Have you ever find yourself wondering while playing video games how they're made? Well, here in Monta Vista, there's a class for that. Let's take an inside look in the game art design. In uh, video game art design, what we do is we learn how to build games in an engine called Unity, which is used by the big AAA industries like Microsoft and Sony to make their games. And so we're taught how to model, we're taught how to do the sounds, we're taught how to code the games, we design our own levels, and we make games, we make 3D models, uh, we do everything the industry really does. So for this class, you can really have like your own imagination. You don't have to create the games that are manly because most games out there are mainly directed towards boys. I mean, you can create a game about fairies or anything you want. It's all imagination. It's just the code to, just to make it move. Uh, there are other codes. This is for keeping score. It's for menu buttons. Rather difficult to make it work, but once it does, uh, it looks something like this. Parish is basically a labyrinth game where you take whatever vehicle you're in depending on the level and you try and find the exit, pretty simple. Um, in the later levels there's power-ups that fix your health. Um, the working health bar up here uh, decreases when you crash. If you have a club or group on campus you want to be recognized, send us an email at monavistatv at gmail.com. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. I'm Summer Kennedy. And I'm Chris Cranston, and we'll see you next time.